Good morning, good afternoon, good day, good evening. My name is Kim Schofield and this is Inspiration Tuesdays. Thank you so much for joining us. Inspiration Tuesdays is a program that focuses on the importance of inspiration, personal and economic growth, surviving and thriving. Inspiration Tuesdays features guests from around the world that are an inspiration to their industries, colleagues, and communities. Today, we are going to discuss inspiration and its role in the evolution and growth of the new space economy with our very special guest, Colonel Shelley Brunswick, U.S. Air Force retired and Chief Operating Officer, Space Foundation. Shelley, welcome to Inspiration Tuesdays. Well, thank you, Kim. It's an honor to be joining you today. And again, I'd like to thank your sponsors and distributors for making this program possible. During COVID and any time, inspiration is something that uplifts us all and allows us to make the world a better place. And that's how I feel about the space economy as well. What can we do as business leaders to inspire the next generation to want to achieve, to be resilient and succeed in the ever-changing job landscape? Well, the th first thing I share, Kim, is there are some coping skills that I recommend. And one of those is, you know, how do you reconnect with people? Um, as you said, you know, there are kids, how are we socializing them? And COVID, again, has been a disruptor. It has changed the world in ways that we're not going to fully understand for a while. And how are we going to overcome those things? You know, many of us are going to think back at other times in life, you know, the recession, the depression, a 9-11. So, there, so there's generations that are going to grow up that are going to be the COVID generation. But what I share with you is what your show brings to the world, inspiration. And how do we every day think about inspiration? Um, how do we connect with one another in a really human way on the phone or on Zoom? And so some of the things I share with you is it is challenging, but meditate. Meditation, they've shown, can be really helpful for even the, the children that are having some challenges focusing on this Zoom learning platform. Um, the other thing I share is start a gratitude journal. You know, every day think about three things you're grateful for and change the way you say the words. Instead of saying, I have to talk to Kim today, you say, I get to talk to Kim today. Wow, I'm so fortunate I get to talk to Kim today. And the other thing I do is find something that you're passionate about that allows you to disconnect from your COVID bubble. So Kim, I think you know about me. I, I really enjoy traveling and photography. So I've had to make some changes with COVID. So one of the things my husband will do is we'll go out for a ride. We're here in Colorado in the beautiful Rocky Mountains and we'll go for some hikes. We'll go for some drives. And I love to be in Africa on the Serengeti, but I'm not sure when that's gonna happen again. So I go to the zoo and I have been to the zoo so many times. I've gotten to know all the animals by name. I can tell their personalities. So find a way to disconnect from this technology we're living in, the Zoom bubble we're in, and reconnect with the real world, whether that's nature or your family or something else, find a way to reconnect um, with the real world. We are gonna get through this. I know in the UAE, you have a very aggressive uh, vaccination program. The U.S. starting to turn the corner. So I anticipate, Kim, I'm going to see you in person, hopefully the end of the year. And I ask the rest of everyone, we're almost there. Find a way to be resilient, to find inspiration through this program and others, mm -hmm. because we are going to reconnect soon. So... What inspiration roles do you think governments can play? You know, there are a lot of people who feel that government, you know, that isn't their, that isn't their job. I don't know that, I, I disagree with that. But what inspirational roles do you think that governments can play to help us transition out of this COVID-19 uh, situation that we're in and get back up on our economic feet? So there's a number of things. The first point I like to play about government is they are inspirational. They provide the vision, the leadership, the programs, and the funding that allow um, industry and the rest of the world to follow. So I'm going to provide you an example. When we talk about space technology, many people think, well, what has space technology done for me? I don't understand space technology 
Why does the US government invest in space technology? So since 1983, Global Positioning System, GPS, has benefited the US um, economic development by $1.4 trillion. That's just the US economic development. For those who don't know, GPS is a series of satellites that was put up courtesy of the US government through the US Air Force. And that has unlocked innovation. It has unlocked economic development both in the US and globally. So back when they started launching GPS, there was no way to know what the economic opportunity would have been, the entrepreneurship, the innovation. So government sometimes has to lead with that seed funding to cause the direction we want to grow because a business would not invest in something so risky. Another example I share with you is um, the transition from NASA or the Air Force doing all the launches and activities, to pivoting to what they call now commercial crew. That happened with legislation in 2004, which paved the way for what we're seeing today with SpaceX and Blue Origin and other commercial launch providers, where now the government looks at buying a launch as just like buying a service. And this you could equate to many years ago, the US government made their own computers and consoles and software, and they have now transitioned to Dells or Macs. So, and now they just buy a computer that everybody else can buy commercial off the shelf. So as space commercializes, the US government and many other governments can play that visionary role, the seed funding, and then you have to also develop the workforce to fill those jobs. Because if you don't have the educated workforce that can go into all, all those jobs like manufacturing, like rocket scientists, like healthcare, like energy and energy storage, then, then it doesn't matter if you unlock the technology, we have to create the workforce. The UAE has a great example. You know, they have the vision to have a Mars colony in less than 100 years. They're investing in the innovation. Last year, they launched their Arab Space Pioneers program. So they're creating the workforce. They've laid in a vision. They're, uh, they're looking at that space technology and they're investing and they're now investing in a workforce so that they can have that future. So I share with you that government plays a critical role as a leader, as that seed funding organization and understanding the importance of that workforce development. So it sounds like to me that governments don't just have a role to play, they have a, a major role, the most, the, the most important role of all to play. So. Absolutely. They, they fill that piece when you look at industry, companies are in business for a bottom line. Governments are in business to play benefits for their country, their community, and, and the global world eventually. So the government has to play that role to invest where it's too risky for companies. That's their leadership. And you can see that even today. Um, you're seeing with the new Biden administration wanting to invest in infrastructure, wanting to invest. And, and in that infrastructure, there is, a, there is money being put aside for that space infrastructure we spoke about earlier. Mm -hmm to invest in community college. How do we make community college free for the first two years if you want to go to school? So how do I invest in that workforce? They're looking at other um, plays and how do we grow technology and create the manu rebuild that manufacturing sector in the U.S. that has been impacted by COVID. You know, many of the manufacturing sector in the U.S. is small and medium-sized businesses that we would call mom and pop. Small businesses, run by uh, you know, a family or a community. And again, they have been greatly impacted by COVID. So again, looking at how government can play a role to ensure those sectors remain viable, because that's that supply chain, that advanced manufacturing sector is critical to that space industry. Well, not everyone feels inspired. What advice would you give to someone who needs some inspiration in their life? Well, I share with you again, find a way to unplug from the technology we're existing in our COVID bubble. Find a way to reconnect with something 
that remind you of what you did pre-COVID? And again, for me, it's, can I go outside and go for a walk? Can I unplug from the computer and email and Facebook and LinkedIn? And, you know, because we have so many things coming at us. Can we unplug and recharge? Um, I now have Zoom coffees with friends on Saturday that I've been friends with for years. How do you unplug? The other thing I would recommend is, remember I talked about there's mentors, coaches, and champions. So a mentor would probably be more if you're looking to develop certain skills or activities, and a champion is someone higher up to help you dr drive your career. This area where you say the inspiration is where I would say, can you find a coach? Because a coach not only coaches you on certain skills, they coach you on your life and give you direction in how you develop as an individual. And so maybe you can find a life coach to also help you. Uh, find some inspirational activities. Um, you can find that on the internet. There's so many wonderful things. Um, what, here, I'm gonna, I gotta look real quick. Somebody sent me this book and I'm gonna share it with you and your audience. Stanford does a class on this and it's called Humor, Seriously. And it's actually about how you bring more humor into your workplace as a leader. So um, it's an interesting concept. So I share with you, laugh every day. Find some humor. Did something happen? The Zoom call not work right? Okay, we all understand. Let's laugh about it. So also, let's just take a step back, take a breath, and let's just laugh together. You know, you are, you are so incredibly inspiring, Shelley. It's been wonderful to have you on this program. And we've covered a lot of, a lot of ground. But is there anything I missed? Is there anything else you would like to add or say? Well, thank you, Kim. Um, I do want to just share with your audience that you've heard a lot about that space ecosystem and that it's growing. And let me just tell you that today, the global space ecosystem is $424 billion. And it's going to grow one to three trillion in the next 10 to 20 years. There is a place for you in the growing space ecosystem. And the Space Foundation and O2K and the UAE Space Agency and the Saudi Space uh, Commission and many others want to help you find your place in the growing space ecosystem. The other thing I want to say is, Kim, it's been a pleasure joining you this morning. The Space Foundation and myself, we're so honored to be partners with you and Rob, your, your partner at O2K. And we look forward to growing our partnership with you in the MENA region over the next year. So thank you and thank your distributor for this program so we can share the inspiration with the world. And I wanna thank your sponsor as well for making this possible. Thank you so very much for your insights. Shelly, you are a true pioneer for women and an inspiration to all generations with your tireless efforts in promoting the opportunity that space and the new space economy is. Your enthusiasm and success are an inspiration to us all. Thank you so much. Now, Thank for you. more information, please visit www.spacefoundation.org. And there's some information at the end of this video as well, some additional contact information. For our audience, you can find this video and all episodes on YouTube at Chief Inspiration Officer, Kim Schofield, as well, in link, as, well as LinkedIn at O2K Limited, Apple TV, Android TV, Roku TV, and Clubhouse. If you just want to listen in, Inspiration Tuesdays is available as a podcast on Spotify and Buzzsprout. Our next episode will feature His Excellency Marwan Al Sakal, Executive Chairman, Char Sharjah Investment Authority, Sharuk, with part one airing April 6th. This is Kim Schofield. Thank you again for joining us. Stay safe, be well, and go forth and inspire.